Hey guys, it's T Dubs Games uh, back with another video in our Victoria 2 Let's Play as uh, Yugoslavia now. Um, in the last video, uh, we I think we surrendered some territory to the uh, Austrians, um, but in this video, uh, we did get that Casus Belli in the last one. In this video, I think we're going to go ahead and declare war on Romania. Hopefully, that goes well for us and Russia doesn't intervene. Um, before I start this video though, I just want to go ahead and give you guys some updates on the channel thus far. Um, my SSD, I ordered a 1TB SSD, that just came in. Um, so I've moved all of the files onto that. Um, not that that's like anything to do with the channel, that's just ancillary information. But I did get a... What do they call this thing? A shock mount for the uh, microphone here. So hopefully the audio quality will get a little, uh, little bit better. And I have been posting straight from OBS, but I now have uh, Sony Vegas as well as Audacity, which is free, obviously. So um, this video probably won't get any editing since it's kind of late and I feel bad about not posting yesterday. Um, so I'm probably going to do one video today and then um, in the coming days, expect one to two videos a day uh, as a regular schedule. Just uh, need to work on my editing, figure out how all that works, and then... Um, Hopefully the quality of the video should improve, and uh, that's all for you guys. Um, Want to see what I can take this channel to, see if I can get a really good quality on my videos. Um, don't really know about adding any like intros or anything, that seems kind of cheesy to me, but uh, go ahead and start this uh, gameplay here. Goes bankrupt, don't really care. Um, go ahead and declare that war. Why the state of Debrugia? Something like that? Who knows? One hop in here. We did have our military. Yeah, our military is fully funded. Well, I'm just going to hop in here and go straight at them. Um, they'll probably have an army sitting in Bucharest, though. So I'm going to be kind of cautious about that. I hope you guys have had a good week thus far. Uh, sadly, my Crimson Tide lost last night in the National Championship game. Didn't really want to see that, but I was out kind of late last night, so that was the reason for uh, the lack of videos. Heartbreaking, to say the least. I want to hurry up and get this war over with, though. The Govishte. Come on. Are they running to Constanto? And they're just spawning units, um, mobilized units right on our men, so. What kind of war score do we need? Can I make them a puppet? Let's see, is there an event to add Romania? Hmm. Would I want to puppet Romania? I don't really know the, um... Apparently we're not communist anymore. Don't know when that happened. But, um, not a big deal. I'll fix that later. I'm really worried about this war. I want to get this over with as fast as possible. What is up with these siege efficiency? Are these guys just, like, not sieging very fast? How long has this been going on? Feels like a while. I didn't get this land though. I think I will puppet them. This is some artillery. You can go ahead and join your army. This army has men that can, uh, or one unit that over its force limit. So that we have Bucharest. I'm gonna see if I can that would talk that would take 85 war score so that would go over our 100 war score cap so that's not gonna work but um that's one thing you always need to watch out for when you add war goals in this game is to make sure that you don't go over the 100% um, total war score because if you go over 100 you can't 
end the war, obviously. You'll never reach your goals, and you will lose um, prestige. Well, I'm going to go ahead and peace out of this war. That was pretty quick. Border gore at its finest. But uh, hopefully we can annex Bulgaria at some point. Oh, so they'll have to be in our sphere, which I don't know if that's something that we can do. I doubt it, though. We'll have to become a great power in order to do that, and I don't see that being very, uh, doable, honestly. What, uh, we, it's an engineer. I'll build another engineer. I'll recruit him over here and have him come here. Our economy's still looking good, and that's with our troops fully funded, so let's go ahead and drop that down. Drop some tariffs. I like to have a reasonable um, axes and tariffs. I just feel like the economy performs better. Um, in the long run, your people are happier, they won't revolt on you as often which can get kind of annoying in victoria too the rebels can get kind of spammy especially if you play as prussia and you take the uh empire into the late game and you get a lot of these like um research uh boost uh research boosted techs um they add a lot of different ideas i don't know it's social science maybe oh no it's the political thought one it gets kind of spammy. Um, all the people get ideas. And ideas are dangerous, as we all know. There isn't war here. Ottomans. Okay, you're at war with Greece. Yeah, Bulgaria, you can have access. I don't know why you would need access, because the Ottomans are right there, but... I wish I was in on that war. I could eat some Ottoman territory. We'll build four more troops. Not that we would need to right now, but... See, our Hussars still aren't getting built because we lack the luxury clothes. Which is definitely um, a little annoying. What should I go for here, you guys? Our literacy, maybe? We get a lot of prestige from this. How long will it take? A long time, actually. I'll go ahead and get our navy going. I know I said that a long time ago, and it, I've just been putting that off, but this will be the last um, port tech we can take for a while. Uh, at least for the next, like, nine, ten years, so. They had any war goals in this? No. I want to promote communism, you know. Are we in the Italian sphere still? We're in no one's sphere. So that's rather interesting. We have around 200, 218 points. I'm assuming number 8 still has like 500 points. Yeah, 502 from Italy. I bet if we ate some land from the uh, Austrians, then, um... we encourage, like, revolutions over here? If we took land from the Austrians, we could probably increase our score significantly, but... That's a problem for when the Ottomans, or the uh, Austrians, aren't allied with the... Their, um... When they aren't allied with the Germans, the Germans are gonna kick the crap out of everyone. Got an Iron Clan. And apparently we have an additional 
thing. I guess we got that when we took that territory in uh, Bulgaria. Bureaucrats and intellectuals. What are bureaucrats at here? I'm not super pressed about getting intellectuals up to four anymore. It's kind of late game at this point. We'll just ride with it. Russia's our ally. Romania hates us. I can go ahead and spend points to make them like me again, though. Why are our factories closing? Is that from... Yeah. Alright, open. Subsidize. I like to sort this list by the number of factories in each province, just so I can get an idea of... Um... Which ones need to be upgraded? Which ones might need to have national focus of encourage? Um, something or another. I'll go ahead and uh, build that factory. I don't really care anymore. We can uh, practically safely. Um, I think we can safely do that. What am I trying to say? Since our tariffs are low, um, we won't spend as much money subsidizing these factories and importing things. What is that? We're just at the cusp of having enough for four national focus. That's going to keep going away. I guess. We have to keep our population up above uh, 1.6 million. Which would lead, to, uh, lead me to believe that every 400,000 people is a focus point. 400,000 people of an accepted culture. Because we have 2.4 or 5 million, but there are cultures in our empire that are not uh, accepted cultures. What are our rebel factions looking like? We're going to have Albanian patriots. We need to accept the Albanians and the Bosnians as a culture group. That's a lot to go with right there, though. I mean, that is a lot. If I puppet Albania... That would mean going to war with the Ottomans. Directly. So, I don't think that's something we want to do. Bulgaria did eat part of the Ottomans there, though. But the British have them in their sphere, I think? Or they're just allied with them? We're not going to want to do that. I don't want to get Britain on my bad side. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. In the grand scheme of things. I know that England has a lot of troops overseas, but I think they... Pause. I'm going to drop the bending again. Tariffs down to 15. How can we run? What will our economy look like here? I'm still not sure why these numbers don't match. Austrian, Hungarian, Congo. Our people are still, like, not getting needs. We have like no tariff. Come on now. Is this gonna be the uh, trade policy? No one really cares. We could sign the Geneva Convention and lose an in infamy. But that's not a big deal for us. I don't think uh, 11 is that much. To be honest. Or we only have 6. What am I saying, 11? The 6 is not that much. As soon as we hit 1% bureaucrats here, I'm probably gonna go ahead and increase the. Um, Engine level in Austria. See if we can't get some of this land. I wonder what the Austrian relations look like with everyone else. Italy hates them. 
But all the other great powers seem to like them. We probably won't get that land. We might actually end up in a war for it, which uh, would not be advantageous to say the least. Are people getting their needs met yet? Come on. Not a huge deal, I don't care that much. Oh wow, we hit a lot of bureaucrats really fast over there. Oh, can I? Yeah. Let's see what that'll do. Let's see how quickly that goes up or down. Not moving at all. Why is that? Are there great powers at war? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So that would be a waste of a focus. Heard from our soldiers. I really do want this land back though. That would be huge. Increase our factories. I'm sorry guys, I have the burps. Man, whatever. We're still not getting hussars either. Should I build like a luxury clothes factory? We make we make regular clothes here. We lack the cotton here for the textile mill. No. I wonder if we're not getting or building anything because we're upgrading, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah, the glass factory is producing while it's upgrading. Must be because we're just not getting any textiles. I can go ahead and build that um, luxury clothes factory. We don't have silk either. We're going to have to import that, but... I might want to encourage... Yeah, we're 5% soldiers in Bosnia. I'm going to go ahead and encourage our um, craftsmen here. Guns, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this. Get our prestige up. I know I said I didn't care about that earlier, but it would help our uh, score here. So where can we build more naval bases? Put that to a level 4. We're out of money. That was kind of bad. <laughs> How much does it cost? $62,000. Or uh, pounds. I'm going to use the tariffs. We can afford that. Get more money faster. Doesn't appear to be helping at all, actually. I guess if we lower the tariff, these people aren't paying as much to get their resources, so they pay more in taxes, theoretically. Maybe not, though. I'm gonna go back up to 30. I just built that luxury clothes factory so we can get these, uh, hussars done, because we're clearly not getting what we need. I'll take the two prestige point hit there. What is this guy missing? Two hussars? Oh, that's the guy that's missing the hussars. I'm going to build another army here too. Oh, we'll probably be over our force limit, but it's not a big deal like it is in EU4. It doesn't cost us any more money. I think what if we had more ships than we need, though? We've been over our ship force limit. Fiji? International crisis in Fiji. We're losing money because we're buying supplies, I believe. 
to build our military. Yeah. I think um, the first person to research this and get this um, invention gets more prestige than everyone else. So see, these have already been researched, so we're going to get less, or been invented, so we're going to get less um, prestige for them. But it's still something. It's permanent prestige, it doesn't go away. So. We can push into Grey Power status somehow. Be that war with, um... The Austrians, or, um... I think we're kind of blocked in over here. I don't really think we can do much with any of these nations. The Ottomans are in the Japanese sphere. I don't really see Japan doing anything unless they came up here. So if I justified on them and declared war, would Russia come in? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. They have a truce. Yeah, they have a truce, don't they? Yeah. Until 1890. I'll wait till then. What is our national focus looking like? Yeah, we're getting a lot of soldiers. Where's the free state? Isn't this, wasn't this Belgium? Isn't this where that Belgian king, like, what was his name, like, Leopold, I think, just, like, treated the natives? I don't want to say natives, but the, um, People, the native Africans that lived here, I think he just like abused them and it was like awful to them if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, you guys, this crisis is about to pop off. France, Russia, and the Netherlands versus England and Germany over Fiji. They're going to be fighting over the colony of Fiji. That's down here, right? This Fiji? Fuck. Funny enough, in the Second World War, I read today, um, actually, that the Americans island hopped on truck, or the Allies island hopped on truck in their way to, you know, up to beat Japan, but they didn't actually, like, place men there, they just bombed the hell out of the place so that it wasn't usable. So that the Japanese couldn't use it as an air base or anything. Lake Island, Marshall Island, Arcus Island. Where's the Marshall? Right, right there. Midway, somewhere over here, yeah. I don't know where Fiji is. Like Port Moresby was part of the um, Japanese naval plan to um, sweep through here and take all of Australia. They were going to take Port Moresby and launch attacks from there. But uh, the Solomon Islands, the Solomon Island campaign, the Americans kicked the crap out of them. Allied effort, I suppose. But I'll give the British credit and the uh, Atlantic for their naval efforts, but um, I mean, honestly, the uh, Americans were the only ones really fighting over here, if I'm not mistaken. There was some conflict, like... Uh, the New Zealanders, the Commonwealth nations, but I don't think that, um, well, the crisis just turned into a war. I don't think that the United Kingdom directly really did anything over there. The Britons in two wars. What the hell is that? Oh. There must be a bug in the game. take impressionism as well I'll probably run down in uh, in spectrumism just to get the regimental experience I think that's pretty big oh wait we're still waiting on all those hussars you guys I hope I'm saying that right hussars hussars who knows not me it would have also appear that a lot of rebels have spawned. Who is this? Tell me the battle. Who are we fighting against? What is this? Let me read what that said. Albanian Patriots. 
is weird that they would be there, but I think the Russians are fighting Romanian patriots, so Romania wants this territory. Obviously. Luxury Close Factory is still away from being finished as well. But I do like to get soldiers up to 5% in every province. That seems like a good number. Craftsmen around 20%. If I ever hit that, I'll probably call it off. But that's a lot. Maybe we should go... Yeah, I'm going to get a couple of interest, but like a couple of psychology techs. And then I'm going to get back on the uh, industry army. Maybe I should go for Navy. I don't know. There's so much that we need to do, and it's kind of late in the game. That's one thing that really sucks about playing as Serbia. The literacy is just awful. The research points are awful. It's just something you gotta deal with. You gotta overcome. I mean, there are strategies to get around it, obviously. Are we owed an infantry in this unit? Did I not build? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think this guy... Well, he lost an engineer. Yeah. I don't know what that is about then. I was thinking when I saw that in the build queue over here. Don't pay a stop. There we go. In the build queue, I saw we had an infantry, and I was thinking maybe it was that guy, but maybe I just didn't build enough. Yo no say. There's some artillery down there, too. Maybe they despawn. Maybe the sometimes if you have like units that are red that your population can't support, they just automatically disappear. I appreciate the support so far, you guys. Um, if you have any tips, um, anything like that, please leave a comment. Um, I'm not gonna like pour out for like comments and likes. I feel like if my work deserves that, if you like what you're watching, you can give one, but. I'm not gonna ask for one in every video. It's a little, let's go plant economy. That's just a little can to me, a little disingenuous. I'm not doing this to get famous on YouTube, I'm doing it to share my passion. I think uh, after Yugoslavia, I will probably go I'm going to promote communist again. I want to be communist. I will do either Italy or Japan, depending on what you guys want. Um, assuming nobody replies, I'll probably go with Japan. I really do like that uh, event tree. Getting up to a great power almost immediately. Look at that military power. They probably have so many units. Bukuza units, 15 tech. Their literacy is amazing. But I've never formed Italy in H, uh, HFM. I formed Italy before in like vanilla, which is fun, but they have a weird uh, tree that I'm not really familiar with. Yugoslav Patriots. We've been contacted by Yugoslav Patriots currently living under the dominion of a neighboring country. They suggest there's an opportunity to start some sentiment among those living there that may rise up and rejoin the mother country. There is, of course, the risk of our efforts could be discovered and bring war down upon us. Twenty-five percent chance of Yugoslavia spreading dissent, which means they would probably declare war on me. But we do gain. Honestly, nothing. We don't really gain anything besides them having um some negative effects like pop militancy and stuff. What's the tension here? Still like nothing. I could encourage that though. I'll go ahead and take that event. If we go to war, we go to war. No soldiers there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the flashpoint thing here. What area is that? Northern Serbia. Hopefully we don't get discovered immediately. 4.5 each month. What will that take? Around 20 months. Get up to the top. Assuming it goes up at like a flat rate too. Assuming that like we're not getting a negative um 
modifier here. But we are. I know we are. We're already up to four. I don't know when we started that. I should track that. We are communist again, my brothers. My comrades. Yakutin rebels. I don't want to send that army. That army's not even full up. Oh, don't go that way, though. I don't want you to walk through there and suffer attrition. We've gotten almost five years done today. Isn't bad. I'll probably play till 1890, actually. Just to make up for lost time. Go back to Sarajevo. Oh, we are B R O K E. Holy crap! Maybe I should take a um E contact. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some E contact here. What tech did we just get, though? We haven't taken any of these over here yet. Impressionism would be kind of cool, though. We have a crap load of prestige. I don't think 10 prestige would do it for us. Yeah, we're, we're 300 behind. I need to break that alliance with uh, the Germans. That's what I think. What I know. And they're still at peace with the Ottomans. Oh, 1890. That'll be something to look for. I think you get... The uh, Cassis Bellies last for a full year. So if we... I'm going to fully fund that. That's what I'm saying about uh, Rebels getting kind of spammy. They get like very spammy towards the end of the game. But luckily, we don't really have as many issues as like a typical Prussia game would have. Prussia has rebels, like so many rebels, and they have like mass swarms. Like every province will have rebels. I've also been watching, um, what's his name? Tortuga Power. Um, he seems like a pretty good YouTuber. I really like like how he does his videos. And um, I typically, before I purchase a game, I want to watch a few reviews, like uh, see some gameplay. Obviously, that's I think that's a pretty good, um, pretty good way to kind of gauge if it's worth your money. And I think I'm going to pick up um, this game called. Rule the Waves. I know Rule the Waves 2 is coming out, but it's a very cool game. Um, there's like eight countries you can play as in the base game. Um, it's a text-based uh, naval combat simulation from 1900 till I think you can play to like the 1930s. I don't know if there's a cap though. But uh, you just like design and build ships, like dreadnoughts, battleships, like that era. Build a fleet and just go to war. You can command the navy in uh, real time. Definitely a game I would consider picking up. It does look very fun. Wait, do we have a... Do we have a Cassis Pelly on Oh, just the Return Cords. I don't know if we got that. We definitely have had that, but I didn't know if we had gotten that from that event as well. And any modifiers that are under your country, you can see them up here. So this will be the trade policy. There'll be different ones for every tab, I think. I'm pretty sure. If you ever want to know what like is happening with your country. We puppet Romania in the 1890s as well. 
I'll play out till we get business regulation. Gonna talk strategy after that, obviously. That sound here is our uh, naval base is being complete. Well, we have a pretty sizable uh, naval force limit here. If we went ahead and researched down to probably steam turbine ships, so that's 1900. Um, what should I go for you guys? I feel like our industry is definitely lacking. But I'm going to go ahead and try and boost the Navy uh, in the next episode. So what we're looking to do is increase the tension in our border provinces, everything we have claims on. You'll probably get a lot of additional um, score from doing this. And then we'll want to get Albania, Bulgaria, Romania, probably. Um, maybe even go to war with Greece. We want to form like a huge Balkan state, essentially. Um, might lead to tensions with Italy. I think they do have claims on a lot of this. Yeah, they have claims right here. And I have had games where they will go to war with you if you're not, if you don't have a good buddy, good ally. We might want to look at allying the French at some point. Not yet, obviously, because we still have um, the alliance with the uh, Russians. But uh, we have 46 years remaining in this game. We're just past the halfway point, and I feel pretty happy with where we are now. Uh, I've never actually played a game all the way to 1936, but I am definitely going to do that here just to see what it would be like. Let's see, we still need two infantry there? Really? Two infantry, we're waiting on the artillery there. And sometimes these units, they have like these, um, militant socialists, so if they revolt, you'll lose men, they'll join the revolt. Well, that's just a uh, part of the game, I guess. Something you gotta live with. Alright guys, that's our future plans, uh, unite the Balkans, essentially, so, uh, push text, we'll just see how this goes, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll see you in the next episode.